Hello everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I do have a jewelry unboxing for everybody to do today. This is a Goodwill blue box, repurpose box. <laughs> Tell me if you get tired of them. Let's see if the kid's coming. Um, yeah, so I have this to open and I've gotten, I keep hearing, it's either a cat or a kid, I keep hearing foot footfalls. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages about how we've been doing here in Texas. So I thought I would come on and just kind of give the rundown of what's been going on here with us. Um, if you've been watching the news, you will have seen, I don't even know how many people are without power, without water. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Um, and so I wanted to just address a little bit of that, talk about that a little bit, and then dive into the jewelry. So if you're like, I'm just here for jewelry, just fast forward, we'll get there. Uh, so basically, I think I came live, I can't remember when the last day was so much, it's been like uh, like that nail bite, it's been a nail biter for a while, uh, because we don't normally get this kind of weather. <laughs> we might get a snow here in Austin, maybe once a year. I don't know. I've only been in Austin for a couple of years. Uh, but in Houston, it was like once every five or 10 years, it was like, and it was just like a flutter flurry, I guess. So we had some snow and then it, I mean, it's been down to like zero, which here is unheard of. I've, I've never been in weather this cold. And then it's just been like in single digits. And then in the teens, we finally moved up into the 20s, <laughs> which is, I mean, at first we were just taking pictures of the beautiful ice on the trees. And then it just got, it's just been insane, y'all. Uh, so there was snow and then it froze. And then it was like this frozen snow. I don't even know because we don't have, I don't know the words for these things. Um, so, so many people without power, without water. Um, yeah, and I have to say we have been very fortunate here. We had one evening where we lost power and then it came back on. I think it was only out for a few hours. And um, oh yeah, Clarissa's is over in Hutto, which is not far from me. No water, no power. Uh, like in my neighborhood even, I feel really lucky because just down the street, they've been without power and now without water. And we can see, I mean, we can see people, especially at night, like the, in around our neighborhood, I'm like, I don't know how our little pocket got lucky, um, but somehow we have managed to maintain our power and our water because all around us, people have been on boil water notices, which I think is funny because there's no power. So how are people gonna boil their water with no power if they have a gas range, if they're lucky? We don't have a fireplace, you know, where I I don't have a fireplace. So I just feel really fortunate and I feel like slightly guilty too because we've been just, I mean, we've been preparing for it. We have the tubs are filled with water. We got all the fresh water we could and just trying to prepare as much as we, as we can. And they just shut the water main off or the water line off in our section in our neighborhood because it bust and there was like water gushing out. So they finally just turned that off and they were, we were sure we were going to lose our water because it's just down the street, you know? So um, the lady said, you know, well, the power of the city people are going to come around and tell everybody who's going to lose their water. And I was waiting for it. I was like, kids, we're in a, you know, shower now, brush your teeth now because we're going to lose water. And, um, and then we didn't. So, but a lot of ours, a lot, I mean, pretty much a whole other rest of my section did. So I feel really fortunate. Um, my parents down in Houston, they've been, their power has been off and on, off and on. And now it's like spotty, like some of their breakers wackadoodle and they've like certain plugs work. Like it's weird, like not even their whole house is on or off, but the lights and some appliances aren't working but then certain plugs are working I don't even know I'm just I don't even know what's happening 
So, um, and then my sister, she's been mostly without power and then a little bit off and on and there is, she's on well and they're well froze. So I feel very fortunate and slightly guilty because I know so many people are not doing well and there's nothing I can do. I mean, I've offered friends like, well, come over here, you know, and, but they can't make it here. That's the problem. The roads are so bad. The grocery stores are wiped out. The gas is wiped out. Um, so even if they wanted to come over here, they couldn't get here. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, maybe if things start thawing out, if they still don't have water or power, they can come then. I don't know. So that's kind of where we're at. I wanted to fill you guys in because I have been getting uh, a number of emails and messages and I really, really appreciate it. But we have every night we go to bed and it's like, you know, what does the Dread Pirate Roberts say to Wesley? He's like, good night, Wesley, good sleep, almost likely kill you in the morning. Um, and that's what I tell the kids. I don't tell them that, but I'm like, we may wake, we're going to probably wake up with no power, no water. So get some good sleep while you can be warm. And most likely we'll be out of power in the morning, you know, just preparing for the worst. So, um, but being very fortunate that we are, we are not. Okay. So let me look in the chat. Thanks for being here. And then I'll open this box up. Um, but yeah, that's, like I say, we, we've been very, very, very lucky. Um, we are, I, it's still cold and my, I can feel my heater is like working really hard and we're keeping it set to 68, I think. And I, it's still, I mean, because it's like 20 degrees outside, my heater's like, I, I turn it, I warm it up a teens before we go to bed and then I turn it back down. Maybe that's bad for it. I don't know, but it's, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Your power finally came back on last night in Abilene. Yeah, it's just, thank you. I I really am, let's see, blessed to keep our power and water, most of Oklahoma City on Metro. It's really, you've had, have had your, oh, thank you so much. It's been, um, I, 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 like I said, I just, um, I've never seen anything like this. We are near a hospital, but the, the thing is like the part I'm on, I can see cause in Austin it's hilly. So I can see the, the hospital area from where I am. And from between me and their houses are dark. And so I don't know, I don't know. I really don't. Yeah, uh, it is hard. I mean, we, we had a neighbor down the way saying, you know, she's, she's making bread, but she needs things. So she's like, I'm baking bread. Cause our, our section in our neighborhood has its own little Facebook page. I'm baking bread. And does anybody want to trade? Basically she was looking for diet soda. She's like, I need diet soda. I can't get anywhere. I'm making bread, you know? And so people were like bartering and trading for bread and sodas and whatnot. Um, so it was, that was kind of funny. How's this? The snow is, it's now just like, it looks like snow, but it's just really ice. I posted a little video on my Instagram and over on Facebook of me <laughs> in my sandals walking and crunching it because it looks like snow, but it's just like, it's just ice. Like I said, I've never. And the reason I'm doing that is because the kids both had on the boots. My One had my boots and one had the all weather boots. So, and then my other shoes are like mesh tennis shoes. We don't, I don't even have, I was, I was going to say like, I, have, I think my winter coat is the same winter coat I had from college and I can't button it up anymore, but I never needed to button it up really because it never gets that cold. So I just still have the same coat and I think I can button in the top button, but that's it, but it works until now. So um, we just don't have, you know, we have like the kind of gloves that you get at Target, the little stretch on knit gloves. Um, the kids had some all-purpose gloves for when they were doing wilderness school, but they were too small. They really had to like try to squeeze into them. We just don't have the, we don't have the clothes. I don't own a sweater, like a sweater. I don't own a sweater, like a pullover. I mean, I have like a knit, a heavier knit shirt that could be called a sweater, 
but I don't own a, like a sweater sweater. <laughs> so I just don't. We don't have that kind of stuff here. Um, well, we have it, but I don't have it. So we don't have the kind of weather we normally need it. So, okay. Ah. <laughs> I'm, I'm missing. I, I The chat chat, the chat just went, whoom. It's been rough in Arkansas. I'm so sorry. No power issues uh, there in North Carolina. Oh, good. And my uncle called me, and he's in Spokane. <laughs> you know, and he's, like, giving me sympathy. He's usually the other way around because Spokane is, like, buried in snow like half the year or something. Um, you're freezing up in Nebraska, too. This is your weather. You can take it back. You can just have it. Uh, oh, you were in uh, in Houston without power for two days. Yeah. Um, power's back on your weather. Well, yeah, that's a huge win. That's a friend of mine who lost power. No, they have power, but they lost water. And so they're having to melt snow to flush the toilets and to drink and all of this stuff. So, yeah, again, I feel very fortunate because I know the vast majority of people are, are in a really bad spot. Pardon me. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> I love Princess Pride. That was, I think, the first movie I took the kids to see at the drive-in during COVID times, you know, that we would go to the drive-in movie here. Um, another hard freeze tonight. Yeah. What's it right now? I know we're, I, I am going to do jewelry, but I, I knew I was going to want to talk about this weather. And I keep looking cause it's just crazy to me. Cause then we had more snow. Yeah. Supposedly flurries right now. I'm not seeing it, but supposedly 30 degrees supposed to get down to 18 tonight. Oh boy. And then Friday low is 19. So for us, it's just, I don't know when it's going to not be cold anymore like this. I'm looking. Monday, the low will be 34. So it's going to start warming up. Anyway, all, yeah, pretty much all of Texas is getting hit pretty bad. Um, some spots are worse than others, but oh boy, it's, yeah, pretty, pretty bad. Um, hey, Jesse, how are you? Uh, we're, yeah. We hit 34. Oh, yeah, it, it will hopefully very soon. Now, you haven't missed much. We're just uh, talking about the weather and stuff. <laughs> Thrilling talking about the weather. But, um, oh, nice. El Paso has its own separate power grid. Well, I just have to say, I hope this is a big wake up call. I'm not going to get into some of the sciencey stuff because I know it's politicized and. I don't want to get into that, but I'm just saying it's not, it's not going to be the last time. So we're definitely um, preparing for the, for future events because I mean, it, just growing up in the Gulf coast, I have seen the in drastic increase in hurricanes and tropical disturbances insanely, you know? And so it just year after year after year, it getting worse and worse and worse. So it's not like it's going to go away. It's just going <laughs> to, it's going to be what it, this is the way it's going to be new normal. So I'm going to have to really think about what we need each season. So, oh, you're melting the snow. Oh no. Uh, but that, you know, I told the kids like, this is what's going to happen. Oh, Clover do over. Thank you for that super sticker. Let's find it. I wonder if we have a super sticker. That's not too cold. Oh, how about a dragon? Dragons breathe fire. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah. Oh, now how do I make it turn off? There we go. I appreciate that super sticker. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's nice. My uncle said, because one, one time, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, they were out of power for like nine days or something like, and I see the kind of snow they get. It's crazy. Okay. Um, Oh yeah, their pipe. Uh oh, it jumped. Uh, your daughter, your daughter's room was out power without power for 24 hours, and had pipes burst. Yeah, the other day we went before it got super bad, because now it's like the kids they can go out and play for a minute, but it's on. It sometimes it's too cold. Like I said, we're not prepared for them. The last time it snowed here, my kids, one of my kids was out all day. I was freaking out. I was like, is this safe? But it was in the 30s, and it was just big puffy fun cute snow you know um 
but this is, this is different. This is like hypothermia, <laughs> snow and cold. So um, they can go out for a little while, but no, not, not like that. Um, yes, our kids will have a lot to remember. Yeah, the ki we're, we're okay. Hey, thanks, Brenda. Oh, I need to, I keep forgetting. I talked talk to Marilyn. I need to talk to you. Um, remind me, message me. Uh, so before all this bad stuff hit, when we were getting the warnings that it was coming, I made like, I baked all these potatoes or I made them in the Instant Pot. Like I made a big thing of potatoes and like two big trays of vegetables and five pounds of chicken drumsticks. And like, as I was like, I'm gonna make all this food and make sure that we, we've we got, so if the power goes out, we can, you know, heat up a potato somehow. <laughs> I don't know, chop it up and anyway, um, or eat cold chicken and you know so I was like well I just want to make sure we've got something substantial to eat we can make oatmeal because we have a kettle we could plug into the you know like a power thing that power box thing I don't know what it's called air, it has an air compressor I'm sure that I know there's a name for it but I can't think of what the name is um yeah so we we, we just did a whole bunch of stuff to prepare basically and luckily we haven't had to, to deal with that. And so I feel, I don't know. It's like a generator, but it's not a generator. Maybe it is called a generator. It's like, it's made by Caterpillar. My brother got it for me. It like jumps cars and it has a, it has an air compressor and it has plugs and it like you charge up the whole thing and then you can plug something into it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's a generator. I <laughs> that makes sense though. Ah, okay, it's dumping snow. It's also Connecticut. Yeah. I'm telling you what, we went out and I measured it and it was six or seven inches the other day. And for us, that's a lot. I mean, come on. We did, we uh, we have a balloon on our back patio right now. We tried the bubbles. We tried blowing bubbles and watching them freeze, but we it got too cold for one. We couldn't. Just, and then what was another thing that we did? Oh, we did the boiling water where we like poured the boiling water and we could see if, to see if it would freeze in midair. And it did. And it like came out like snow. Um, what else did we do? Yeah, so basically that's it. We've just been cleaning around the house, um, organizing, doing stuff like, cleaning spots off the carpet <laughs> and um that's pretty much it we watched the mars perseverance land today so yeah it's in maybe yeah power bank i think that's what it's called so i need to get another one of those i think because i want to make sure we have enough so because i've got a, a griddle you know, so if we needed to heat something up and then I've got a kettle that we could heat ramen or water or whatever in. So, because I don't have gas, a gas range either or a fireplace. So I have a butane, I have like a little butane stove. Sorry, I've been talking for a while about this, but yeah, I, I have a little butane stove because I used to do a lot of canning and I have a glass top burner and you can't can on a glass top burner because it doesn't maintain the right heat temperature because the glass will break if you keep it at a certain and for canning you've got to keep it you're getting a mini canning lesson when you're canning you've got to keep the temperature consistent to get the seal and to get the bacteria to blah 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 um and so i bought this little butane stove it takes the little butane canisters um and so i had that and a few uh canisters so i was like well we can cook on this i guess so yeah Let's see. Oh, hang on. He jumped again. Oh, yeah, we uh, we do. We're very lucky. The kids and I are, have heat, definitely. You have 18 inches in Little Rock. Oh, my gosh. It's cray-cray. Yep, yep. We got to tell Canada to come, come get its weather. I got to work. It was negative 15. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. The first couple of days I did try to start my car. <clears throat> my car has a remote start, my new van. And I just I did, I just stopped doing it because I'm like, I don't know if it's dangerous now because it's so cold. Mm. And that reminds me, we did a Hobbit and a Lord of the Rings movie marathon. That's what else we've been, we've been doing. 
we're still in <coughs> we're still finishing up the return of the king so we're almost at 200 so i can start jewelry now that's i wasn't waiting for that but i was like that's just like okay now margaret there's a, there's a lot of people here they're waiting for jewelry they don't want to hear you chit chat it's not just normal chit chat though it's historical events <laughs> historical documents so i miss i put on new nails and i kind of went crazy with the glue yeah and i got some glue on my finger okay here we go. Let's open this. Uh, I have a link down below to my, I started a new group because I need one more thing. But it's kind of fun. It's called Texas Gal Treasures Wholesales. And basically, I I get a lot of emails about things from the from the boxes and unboxing people want to buy stuff. And I'm, I'm that's still the best way. Like if you, there's something that you want, then email me. Um, but then what I've been doing is putting things up in the group over there. And there's a th you know, like a thread for the video. And then after a few days, if there's not a lot of interest in the items, then I put them in the, these other threads. That's like five items for 10 bucks, five, pick five, any five for 20 bucks or whatever. So that's what, um, if you're interested, go check that out. And what I've been doing, cause I know it looks like she hasn't sold anything, but when, once people buy it, I delete it. So it doesn't like, it's not cluttered up, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, it's going to snow again in Michigan tonight. Oh, my gosh. It's it's really bad. Um, you know, my sister's well froze. I'm looking. I don't know. I just realized I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Do you ever do that? And you're like, there was something I was going to look at. Snow. How much snow we were going to get. That's what I was going to look at. Oh, no. It's like, don't, don't wish it back on us. Okay, sorry. Okay, we can handle it, maybe. We'll figure it out. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, thank you, Mary. I'm enjoying it, because then it's like, okay, I feel like I can still make a little bit, but I don't, you know, I don't have a whole lot of time to list very much anymore because I homeschool my kids, and I just, there's a lot. And so this way I can list some things and then help others get a good deal too. Okay, so here's the bag. I don't know where it's from. Sorry. And okay. first impressions. Mardi Gras, your lights. That was, was that yesterday or the day before? Day before. Mardi Gras, we needed you. Let's take Mardi Gras out real fast. Oh, maybe not. Okay, no, well, never mind. I was going to try to pull it out and wear it, but Matt. Okay, first impressions. Let's see. Two feet in Ontario, Canada, just north of Niagara Falls. Oh, no. Yeah, I was talking to somebody in Florida. Somebody. It was the Goodwill Blue Box guy. I was like, how's your weather? He's like, we're warm. He's in Florida. So, it's like a cold sandwich. And Florida's the bread. All right. Hello, Belfast. How are you? Okay, here we go. Too cold, too cold. I'm moving my treasure cam over. I was gonna show y'all this. Look, I, I didn't, I don't even think I showed it in the last unboxing. Isn't that cute? It's a little ear cuff. It's T9C, which I, that's probably why it was like in the bottom of the bag. And I, so I was sitting here and I was like, that's adorable. It's a, it's really, <laughs> it's rolling on me. It's really well engraved, and then it is marked. See, isn't it cute? And then the mark on the inside looks like R P R. Hey, sweets, what's up? When we finished our times, can we go to And yeah, will you um, unload and load the dishes? Thank you. Um, so yeah, I, I was hoping to find like a gold mark in there, but I didn't uh, see that. Sorry, I had to. My kids got done with some of their stuff that they have to do. <laughs> Trying to still show it to you under the thing, and you know, now you can't see it. Okay, it's eighty in Florida. Oh, Florida! That's okay. That's okay. Y'all get hit with all those hurricanes. Y'all are like the hurricane antenna for the for the United States. Here we are. You know. Um, uh, let's see. I just got here. 
Yeah, we've got power in water. We, we had we lost power for a little bit. Did you take the convo? I thought you were gonna do a video. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I did talk to him, but um, it ended up it wasn't a video that I was recording, and I, th I think he was recording it. I don't know. We just sat and talked for a while. Yeah. Um, we were supposed to talk back last year, and I was like, oh, he never messaged, but you know how things are. But anyway, he finally messaged and was like, hey, let's talk, and we did. It was really nice. And, yeah, he seemed genuine, so that made me feel good that they were really trying to figure out ways to make Goodwill Blue Box good for everybody. You know. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it evens out. Mary says, we just had two tornado warnings in two days, so it evens out. Yeah, Florida gets its share of stuff. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So here is the Mardi Gras thing. I say it's a Mardi Gras thing. It's a stretch bracelet, and it's got, I guess that's a tassel. It's got a bunch of knotted stuff. So the <laughs> Mardi Gras bracelet will probably just go into a lot uh, over there. And then just a silver tone, bangle. If you see glue under my nails, I just put on new nails, so don't pick on my nails today. <laughs> we are doing okay. Yeah, it, uh, we we just I probably talked like for for half an hour so about it. So, um, yeah. I mean, not to say don't ask, but just uh, yes. That being said, hopefully that didn't come out rude. I didn't mean for that to be rude. It sounded rude now that I'm thinking about it. I didn't mean for it to be rude. Sorry. Um. Oh my gosh. I'm just, yeah, y'all are sharing in the chat some of the stuff. Look at this. Oh, wait. Pull this earring aside. That's really cute. Stop it. Let go of it. The necklace won't let go. Okay. This necklace is cool and it's like hoarding all of the earrings. That's like the third earring I've yanked out of it. <clears throat> so we've got this link necklace. That's got these, they're plastic, but they want to look like maybe, like they want to look like amber or tortoise shell. I don't think they're like Bakelite or anything either. So I know somebody's going to say, it looks like maybe Bakelite, but I don't think so. I can rub it on my pants and, and see what I smell. How about that? I'll do that. It makes a fun noise. I'm rubbing it on my pants. No, I don't smell anything. Let me rub another piece. <laughs> if you're like, what are you doing? Why are you rubbing it on your pants? No, it's not that good. Because uh, the Bakelite will smell like formaldehyde. But yeah, somebody's going to love that. That's a fun one. Listen to that chain clank. Clank, clank, clank. Clank, 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 clank. Um, yeah, so that's one that I will sell. We've got a shell necklace here that will just probably go to a lot. But look at those pink and blue colors. It's like the pinks and the blues and the whites. I just learned that those are the colors for is it infant loss awareness. So those are the colors for that. And it's also the flag, the transgender pride flag colors. So that might be something I go ahead and sell because there's a couple of keyword tags for that. Okay. Um... Let's see. Tornado season umbra. Is it a necklace or a belt? I guess it could be a belt. I mean, it does have like that kind of clippy. That chain is kind of weird, but you know, maybe you wear it, you can adjust it. It might. I mean, I, it's not a belt for me. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Um, let's see. All right, next we've got a sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. It's a big, long one. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. It's a beady, sassy tassel. Look at it. And then the necklace part is like all twisty braided. That's fun. Somebody's going to like that. It's a long, and it's got, yeah, that's kind of cool. It's, um, braided with kind of like a brassy bronze silver and black oh yeah somebody's gonna like that <clears throat> tommy says pastels are supposed to be trending for spring uh spring and summer 
Not sure about on jewelry though. Well, you know the nail. I, I saw. I saw. I guess I saw these nails. Anyway, they just put out some. They're going to be no. They just put them out, and they're pastel pink and blue like that, and yellow, and they're really cute. Okay, that's an earring. So hey, maybe they know what they're up to. Oh, what is this? Okay, I'm holding. I've got some earrings down here. This is just like a chain. There's a little charm on it. I don't think it's silver or anything now. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> These are called Franberry Sauce. I think their names are fun. They have fun little names for their jewel, their nails. All right. So this one is broken. So that'll just go to a lot. Oh yeah, you started the channel, but this, the haters scare you. They, you know, they're gonna come. They will, but don't let them scare you. Don't live your life for the for the fear of haters. But they will come. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is another one that's got a fun long tassel. It's got some bonus hairs in it, but I can pull those bonus hairs out. That's really pretty. Look at all those jewel tone beads. It's got a multi strand or a double strand, gold tone, and then a knot, and then a tassel. I seem like I find a lot of those lately. I'm looking back at this again. Meh. Okay. Um, oh, so glad that you, you're enjoying it, Vanessa. Thank you. Let's see. Um, let's see. Do they need um no these are they're kind of <laughs> they're kind of like Lee press on they're not wraps they're like oh here I got a box they're like that and so they're like and you can trim them down like I have to trim down my thumb ones because then it's like really long yeah and they come in different colors and stuff I have a link down below if you want to check it out <laughs> I'm I'm just kind of obsessed with them for me because I like to go to the salon and I can't because of COVID. And then when I started using these, I was like, oh my gosh, it's way cheaper than the salon. Um, so this one's missing some stones, so that'll go to a lot. Uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Next, we've got, huh. this is just like a braided beaded necklace with a toggle clasp. $7.99 right there. So that'll probably just go to a lot. And then, what have we? That one will probably go to a lot. Um, okay, it's turning to nail talk. Um, the They stay on about two weeks. And it comes with like a little glue and a little like filey thing, like a little. And so I just put it in my purse. So every, like maybe about a week, week and a half in, one will like try to pop off, but you can feel it trying to come off. Usually, because like water or like if you're running your fingers through your hair, you'll feel like it. And so you just be ready. And then it, if it comes starts coming loose, you can glue it back on. But it about two weeks, yeah. Be and then you can reuse them too. <laughs> this is because I love you. And those are Alex and Annie. <sighs> I have sold Alex and Annie before, but I don't usually, when they're in this condition, like where the finish is rubbed off, meh. What do you think? I'll probably just put it into a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where the box came from. I don't know. <laughs> They're very sturdy. Yeah. Because, you know, I dig through. I'm always digging through stuff like this. And I got kids. Or I do dishes. And, yeah. I like them. It's worth a shot. And they have a, re like, a guarantee. If you don't like them. I can't remember what the amount of time is. But, you know, if you try them and you don't like them, you can send it. I could send them back. I don't know. In that group, I have a picture too on my because I have a group. It's the links down below. <clears throat> um, I have a picture like because I get the question too. Like, well, what if I'm trying to detangle this when I talk? Do they damage your nails? Is another question I get. And I have a picture of my nails between when I took one set off before I put on the next set, so you can see my nails are fine. Okay. <laughs> So then there's this. Hmm. What do you think? I mean, it's pretty. 
I have to remember, even if it's not my style, it might be somebody else's style. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, and that's the thing, when I when I joined, I'm like, I'm not trying to be a rep. And I told the girl, like, too, I made a video about this, too. I'm like, I, I'm not going to try to recruit a team because that just sounds like work. I don't want to make a team. I just want to, like, I know when people are going to ask about the nails. And then I can just say, there's my link. So there. <laughs> I'm not trying to build a team because I don't want to work. Because if you're the, if you lead a team, then you have to like encourage people, like good job and how's it going. I'm like I don't have time for that. I got two kids. I can encourage them. And that's it. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I, I'm on the fence about this. What do you think? I think it's dainty and delicate. I think the part that gets me is um, part of the chain has got like a kink in it. I guess I can try to. Straighten the kink out. Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> Could you do a video on the nails? I I think I did. I think I have a video on my My Meet Margaret channel of me putting them on. I think I did. <laughs> um, and it's in that group too. Yeah. So. Oh, that's what happened with you. Perfectly posh. Just with the stuff I don't, I know. I'm, that's what I'm like. I'm the one buying this. I'm the one buying the nails. When they put out the new colors, I'm like, ooh. I have like a stash of nails for me. I don't know. I don't care. And my sister's like, can you get that? Can you get this? So I get her nails. Yeah. No biggie. It's cool. It's all good. Ooh, this is fun. It's turned into nail talk. This is a fun bracelet. So this is a link with wooden rings and these little twisty gold tone rings toggle clasp very cool oh this was at a good this was at a goodwill they were trying to sell it for three bucks at goodwill <clears throat> i wonder if that's what the other tag was on the other one oh so yeah that's very small wrist though i wonder if that would i have a small wrist so we'll see what color am I, these are called franberry sauce i don't think they're available right now but you can, if you, if you join my group, I can get, I can talk to some other reps and get, get them. Yeah, this is very small. I think it must be missing a link because it's too small for me to put on. Um, and they don't let people, that's the thing too, like, you know, I'm a reseller. So I wanted like, so if they're out of stock, does that mean we can like raise the price? You know, is supply and demand? They're like, no, 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 Margaret. It's not like that. You have to sell them, even if they're out of stock, even if they're retired, <laughs> you can't jack the price up. If they were 13 or 15 bucks, that's how much they are. <laughs> I'm like, fine. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this one, I don't know. It, it's too small and I have a small wrist. So I mean, I could probably get it hooked, but if you had a bigger wrist, then forget it. <clears throat> there, oh, I did it. I did it. Now it'll be a trick to see me getting it off. Here we go. Uh, oh, yeah, they're super hard to get. Oh, brother, here we go. So, uh, I might just put this in a lot. I would hate somebody to buy it and then just get really disappointed that it's so small. Oh, here's a blank turtle. What's happening with you, turtle? Oh, you're not a blank turtle. Well, you are, but look at this. Wait, wait for it. This is fun. It's like a sweater clippy thing. Look, they're two. They're very shiny. At first I thought they were blanks. I mean, I guess you could still put something there, but they are turtles or tortoises. You can't tell. They look like tortoises based on their flippers. What do you think? <clears throat> and then the chains. And then another one on that side. So you'd wear it like so. On a sweater, I guess, or you could put it on a fancy coat or a shirt. Sweater, I think I already said sweater. That's fun. And they have just the regular like flip over clasp, no marks. Wow, I like it. That's definitely a seller. <clears throat> um, how would they know? <laughs> Well, I want to be honest. If that's their policy, then that's their policy. I know, but is there, that's like so counter to what, not necessarily what we do. Like, I'm not trying to jack up the price, but we, you know, 
when you're selling stuff, you're a reseller. You're buying low and selling high. That's just what you do. Um, those will go to a lot. <laughs> oh, thanks, Judy. <laughs> I, I catch a lot of flack for it. It's probably why I don't have 100,000 subscribers. Because people are like, just, that girl just won't shut her mouth. If I just showed jewelry, maybe I'd have like 100,000 subscribers. But, oh well. I gotta be me. I gotta be me. What else can I be? Bah, bah. Okay, we've got a clamper bracelet here. This one took a turn at the Goodwill as well. And it's my neighbor's dog. Brother. I have proof of my neighbor's dog in my yard now, too. One of my neighbor's dogs is a little one. Let's look at the treasure cam. Because we, we caught its tracks in the snow. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind dogs. I just don't want them pooping in my yard. That's all. That's why I don't have dogs right now. So it says, I think it says HM. Can you read that? Something Soho? RLM Soho. Um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, the nails are so fun. I, I find myself, even though I know what's on there, I find myself looking at the nail site and like, ooh, I don't need any more nails right now. But I, I do. I wanna, they put out new ones like once a week, uh, a couple new colors. And so, I don't know. I'm a nap for them. I'm probably I'm a bigger customer than, I don't know. Anyway, so that's a fun one. Yeah, okay. Then, oh, look at the ballerina. It's a ballerina. She's got a black tutu. I'm, I'm fixing her tutu so she is not immodest. Bring it down, girl. It's not that kind of ballet. Okay, <laughs> so she's like the black swan with her little black tutu. She's got some bling under there. I saw some shiny. Nope, no bling. But her, her bodice part is blingy. Look at her. Oh, somebody's going to love, love, love her. And I think there's a mark on the back of her, too. Let's go look. Treasure cam. Oh. There we go. Or is it just... No, maybe it's... I don't know. I don't think it's a maker's mark after all. I think it's just... It's her flaws that she's hiding. She's her imperfections. There's a little sparkly sparkle up at the top as well. Okay, sweet. Um, Robert Lee Morrison, maybe. I'll look that up on this one. Yeah. Um, 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 Avon had a silver one. Oh, the Robert Lee Morris Soho at Macy's. Oh, nice. Okay. Sweet. Ah, oh, yeah, I could totally fix her, her tutu. Somebody's going to love her, though. Isn't that cute? Poor girl's got a mold mark on her back. <laughs> All right, but I mean, it's like there. I know ballerina's feet also look a mess, so she's used to it. As long as it can't be seen on stage. All right, so here we've got a bracelet. This is a Chico's. I like this one. It's got this beaded look with these gray. Yeah, and there, like I say, there are people that have their brands. Gracious, that dog. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. No, no, no. I probably won't iron it. You know, I'll just leave her. She's fine. Um, yeah, so that's a seller. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> I don't mind dogs, but they like my yard. There's like Hogan is the dog on this side. And then there's two dogs over on that side. I can't remember their names. And they talk to each other. I'll cross my yard. <laughs> That's fine. It's cool, man. They're good dogs, though. Um, I don't think I've seen jewelry piece wearing clothing. Oh, huh. uh, yes, you have. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, yeah. Jewelry's just a squirrel running. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, I, I can't, yeah. I just the silliness. Okay, so here's a pin. 
it is, you know, it looks like the wear is rubbed off on it. There is a maker's mark, but it's not going to really matter because it's the wear is pretty bad. We can't see it, Margaret. Oh, it's a Monet. So, yeah, I mean, even the, even, yeah, even though it's a Monet, it's damaged, so, meh. Okay, then there's a butterfly. That's a cute one. Some of them will like that. Little butterfly pin. And that looks like an egg slicer or an avocado slicer, if you will. I have one of those like egg slicers. The kids love, love, love to slice the eggs with it. So that would work with like maybe a quail egg. <laughs> The things that they are entertained by. What are y'all doing for dinner tonight? Since we have power, we're making, I'm, I was like, I was going to make this like chili stew thing, but I decided we're going to do pancakes and bacon and eggs instead. That reminded me of it. So I got these apple cinnamon. It's like an apple cinnamon pancake mix. It's from a brand called Kirby Lane, which is a restaurant here, which we didn't have in Houston that I know of. But they have gluten-free, I'm trying to detangle and talk, gluten-free apple cinnamon pancake batter. Do you belong on here? Look at that. I don't know about you. Oh, it's broken. That's what it is. Oh, that's an easy fix. Look, it's another one of these big metal saucy tassel, saucy, saucy tassel. This is my saucy, saucy, tassel, tassel song. Ooh. Yeah, that would be an easy fix if they still reach. You know, to hook those two back together. Is that a thing? I mean, maybe this is a new... I'm getting a lot of those in this bag. For sure. Soup is... Oh, tacos sound good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Pizza. Red stuffed peppers. Chili. Hot and spicy. That sounds really good. Taco. Soup and salad. Butterfly egg slicer called a spinneret. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Mmm. Oh my gosh, yeah. My early videos, if you go search videos, oldest to newest, you can see, I think I may have deleted my first one or two videos. But yeah, <laughs> I was like, hey guys, thanks for visiting. <laughs> it took a while, yeah. Pancakes are just gonna be a hot pot. Okay, yeah, we're to Instapot spaghetti. Mmm, shrimp scampi. Oh my gosh, my, my youngest would devour that. Cucumbers and broccoli. <laughs> I've been eating, because I told you I made a big, giant um, oh, Indian curry. i got to talk to you about that. Um, I made those two big pans of veggies. And, like, I love hot sauce, you know, so or, like, Frank's red hot, like, red hot hot wing sauce. And so it's just anything I can do to get the sauce in my mouth, basically. <laughs> so uh, that's what I've been eating, like, yesterday for lunch and for dinner. I just had, like, I heated up these veggies that I roasted and just, like, hot sauced them in my mouth. Um, that was it. But the I had ordered these, speaking of Indian curry, there's a brand, I ordered it from Amazon Fresh called um, Spice Kitchen or something like that. And they make these, like, chicken tikka masala and, they, and chicken curry or whatever. And then, like, saffron rice, it's... And you heat it up and it's delish. And so I was getting those for myself because I was like, my kids are not going to eat Indian food. They don't, you know, they won't really like, they like naan and that's it. <sighs> well, my son was like, hey, can I just take it? I like that kind of rice. Can I have a taste of your rice? And he, you know, the saffron rice. Yeah, okay, yummy. Here's a bite. And then he wanted a taste of my chicken tikka and he liked it. And so now he wants to eat them. And I'm like, I got them for me. <sighs> You have the chicken nuggets. No, no. I was like, okay, you can have the chicken, chicken masala. <laughs> okay, so there is wooden bead necklace. So I've already, even though Amazon's not ordering or delivering right now, Amazon Fresh, I've already queued up some more. Um, anyway, <clears throat> wooden bead necklace, probably going to put it in a lot Oh, girl, we did that last time when it really snowed bad. Um, we did grilled cheese and tomato soup. Oh, yeah. Mmm, tomatoes and salt and pepper, oregano. That sounds delish, too. Uh, Amazon Fresh and I don't know. 
because uh, I'm in, oh, they have them in Kroger. I don't know if we have Kroger here. I see H E B. We have H E B. And there's a couple of Randalls. We had Kroger back where I lived in before. Yeah. Oh, so good. And then I, I'll i make, I'll use either sour cream, but I had some tofuti, it's like to vegetarian or vegan sour cream. And then I just get the ranch packets, you know, the dry ranch to make ranch dip. And so usually I make up a big bunch because my kids like to eat veggies with that and then the hot wings. And <sighs> it's just delicious. <laughs> Before all the snow stuff came, I made sure that on my grocery order, I had another big giant thing of Frank's hot wing sauce, hot sauce or whatever, red hot. I can't remember what it's called. It's Frank's. It's delicious. Um, okay, so here we've got a little shell. Uh, we really are talking all around the world today. And it's got a nice little gold edging. Someone's going to love it. Let's see. Pulled. Oh, y'all are okay. Ooh, chicken and dressing. Yum. Tater tot hot dish. That sounds good. Cauliflower pizza. You see the spice kitchen everywhere. Nice. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, today I just we had some leftover chicken nuggets and I made that and some hot wings. <laughs> so hmm. we had the freezer hot wings. Uh, what does that say? So it's like a little blue buckle belt and PD, I think. <laughs> if I can, I will. I don't put it on my oatmeal. That might be it. <laughs> It, the only thing is, is I know it's bad. It's it's bad on sodium. I know it's 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 pretty salty. So, um, let's see. This is Pedro Duran. Nice. I don't know about that brand or anything. Stainless steel. PD. Yeah, I'll have to look that one up. I don't know that brand, but it's a nice little turquoisey blue buckle. Maybe leather. There's something on the back. Let me see. Um, let's zoom that in. Can y'all read it? I can't tell if that says 925. I feel like it. Yeah, it says 925 NV. And then I guess maybe that's his signature. I'm not sure. Okay, so that might be silver. Even better. Now I really want to look it up. <laughs> oh, ranch and hot sauce. Yeah. That's what I told the kids. Like, okay, I'm making the hot sauce. I mean, making the ranch dip, but I'm dipping in it with the hot sauce. So if you want some, make sure you tell me, and I'll scoop some in a separate bowl because I'm going all in on this. <laughs> Pedro Duran sold in Walmart. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, then we've got a brooch. It's like a squiggly brooch. We may have to finish this up tomorrow. I just saw we're pushing an hour here. Uh, I don't see a maker's mark on this one. But that's a cool one. Nice brooch there. And then there's another one. This one is very substantial. Ready for it? Ready, set, go. Look, it's got this like smooth curved piece and then these twirly whirly it looks kind of like a stylized ram don't you think hashtag capricorn <laughs> stylized capricorn perhaps maybe i don't see a maker's mark this is really cool it's pretty heavy where's my magnet <clears throat> i don't see any marks on it but magnetic <clears throat> right it does look like ram horns totally yeah I, I mean I think if I list it I'll put I'll put like Capricorn esque in it something because Capricorn is the ram right <clears throat> I'm the, the bull the bull mm. pardon me <clears throat> 
Okay, then we've got, we have this little bracelet. The bracelet part looks good, but the charm has got a bit of wear to it. So, if the bracelet, no, the bracelet's got a bit of yuck on it too, right there. That's gonna go to a lot, yeah. Let's see, okay. Got some solo earrings coming down to the table, waiting their turn. Come now. This is when I'm like, ah, camera down, please. I'm gonna set those aside, because if I have to end early, I'll detangle those and come back. Ooh, this is cute. This is cool. There's it looks like another locket. We had a locket, one of our last ones. Hold tight. Minor, minor detangle happening. There we go. Okay. Look at this one. It looks like it wants to be tortoise shell. Do you come off? Yes, you do. On the head. Of course. Okay. And this one looks like it took a turn at the Goodwill as well. They wanted 12 bucks for it. Let's see what this maker's mark says. Oh, y'all, <laughs> Julie says 247 watching, 115 likes. Hit the like button, make her sing something pretty. Okay, yeah, tell me what you want me to sing. <laughs> I I don't know all the songs, but I know some. XC, I've had this one before. Yep, Taurus is the bull. I am the bull. Yeah, that's a fun one. I think someone will really like that. <clears throat> I can't remember XC. I haven't, usually something has to strike my fancy one and then I start singing about it. But um, the funniest is when I start making up songs and then my kids are like, is that a real song? Or did you make it up? Both. It is a real song and I made it up. <laughs> um, oh, is Aries the Ram? Well, what's Capricorn then? I got it all wrong. Well, don't listen to me. I'm, I know Taurus is the bull because that's me. Maybe Aries is the ram. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> so look at this, this is a fun one. That's gonna bug me, Capricorn. What is it? <laughs> okay, Aries is the ram. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a pretty one, I like that. A goat, Capricorn's a goat, okay. I was like, it's like got the horns, but then it's got this weird like, Shrimp tail thing. A sea goat, right? <laughs> oh, there's a missing sea goat. Yeah. Poor them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Here's the other one. Yeah, goat fish thing. <laughs> oh, where's my Capricorns in the house? Y'all need to come represent. <laughs> We're making fun of your sea goat. Shrimp tail. <laughs> okay. Made with love, it says. It looks like somebody took a blank and then glued some little um, blooby things on it. That's the, you know, the blingy things. All songs are made up. Yeah, that's a fun line in, um, uh, in, in, not in game, but Infinity Wars. When he's telling them, when Thor is telling them about going to... Oh gosh, the dying star place, the heart of the dying star. And they say, that's a made up word. And he says, all words are made up. It's not wrong. Uh, gosh, what's the name of it? I can't think. Where are my Marvel peeps? <laughs> a mer goat. <laughs> all right, so, um, yeah, I don't know about this. I feel like it could have been really cool yeah, but I just not. So <laughs> I'm passing judgment on this. Somebody's going to love it, though. Somebody will like, oh, I like that. I think it's cute. Not Valhalla. <laughs> the, it's the heart of the dying star where his, his hammer was made. Uh, Mjolnir? No, that's not it. Oh, gosh, somebody's going to come along and help me. <laughs> where is Jeff when I need him? Jeff Davidson, I'm paging you. You would know this in a second. All right, these are stone. 
Um, it's not Mjolnir either. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so let's take a closer look at these and see if we can't decipher what kind of stone these are, shall we? Ah. Hmm. It is a sea goat. Okay, we were making fun of it, but that's for real what it is. Okay. Stormbreaker is the name of the thing, yeah, um, of, his, of the one that he got. Stormbreaker. But the place where they made it, the place where Stormbreaker was made is called, Mjolnir. oh gosh, it's going to drive me insane. Mjolnir. <laughs> there we go. Is that the name of his hammer? Okay. Um, but then Stormbreaker was the name of the, the next thing he got, the axe, right? Oh, gosh. And I love Marvel, too, so this is going to drive me nuts. Because then Rocket was all excited. And he was like, they make the weapons that, yeah. Never Delir, that's it. Yeah, Never Delir. <laughs> Never There, okay, got it. Y'all, um, we've been talking a lot, Alicia. So not a ton of of jewelry. Probably the first half was just talking for sure. All right, so I these stones have me a bit stumped. I'm going to be honest. Cuz they've got some green in them, kind of greenish. Oh, where's my other rock hounds? Uh, let's see. Moss agate perhaps. I we're totally, totally being geeks, yes. I ah uh, okay, thoughts on the stones. Some of them are greeny and some, you know. Okay, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I don't think it's picture jasper. That would be a shame if somebody did this to picture jasper. Um <clears throat> they're very cool though. Unless they're chipped leftover bits from that. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, you think it might still be? Not Moss Ag. Okay, do you think it still might be Picture Jasper? Really? Okay. I just think, when I think Picture Jasper, I'm just like, you know, the beautiful landscapes and the stone. And I guess there must be leftover pieces that they have to do something with. Yeah. I'm still showing it down. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to look it up. Because you may be, it may be then. Isn't that fun? Up close, you can see way more vari variations in it. It looks just kind of like tan off in the distance. Some kind of, uh, yeah. <clears throat> it does kind of look like, if it was all like green, it would kind of have that Kanmari marble look, but it's, it's not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to look, I'll look it up closer. I'm going to go to Fire Mountain Gems, and they'll probably have something that um, could help point me in the right direction. All right, so here's a really long black necklace. Looks like it's seen better days. That will um, that will go to a lot. That's what you thought with Picture Jasper. It loses a lot of character when it's so small. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I don't own any, any Picture Jasper. I, I probably, if I found some, if I found a really nice piece, why haven't I found any? <laughs> I would probably keep it. Um, is one stone more valuable? Oops, more valuable than the other. Yeah, some are way more desirable for sure. See, if if, up close I would say that, but now when I pull it away, I'm like, no, 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 it's too light, right? Unless there's lighter varieties, I'll have to look. I have to look. All right, there's a fun little leaf brooch with two dangles and what look like little pearls on them. Let's look closer. Um. Here we go. Look at these little pearls, though. Aren't they sweet? I. This is really nicely done. Flipperoo. Any marks? No, no marks anywhere that I can see. Yeah, moss agate is way greener. True, true. Okay. There's so many kinds of agate. Yeah, I know. It's just like. <laughs> It's hard to know, right? Uh, yeah. Thank goodness for the internet. 
All right, so that's a beautiful one. Someone's really going to like that. Okay, let me pick out a couple more things. Let me see if I see any wows that I can try to pull out. Anybody up here? Anybody? I see up here. Anybody down? Ooh, okay, here's one. So here we've got this really greeny flower brooch. And there on the back, that's an LC for Liz Claiborne. So somebody will like that. I love green. I love that green. It's beautiful. The kitchen is like kind of like avocado-y lime green. Here we've got a peace sign heart ring. That's pretty cool, too. No marks on the inside. Mandrel, mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? If we got if you got the mantle, then you are it. Okay. How we did how we did on likes over there? I can't see it because I'm on StreamYard. It's about a size nine. That's pretty cool. About a size nine on that. And I still haven't sang anything. That's okay though, I guess. You don't have to sing every time. Now I'm picking and choosing. Ooh, earrings. Okay. I choose you, earrings. Look at, they're like, they're plastic. And, the, oh yay, 143 likes. Thanks y'all. And they've got this silver ringy ring. I don't think I would wear them, but they pop in my, with my hair color. So a darker hair color would look, would look good. Ooh, thanks for being here, you guys. I really appreciate it. I was gonna say something that disparaged me. But I thought better of it. What would my children say? Okay. <laughs> okay, those are cute. Ah, every time I'm thinking, I, sh I just need to go. We're over an hour now, and I should save the rest for later. But I'm like, no, one more thing. Just one more. Here's another Liz Claiborne flower. That's pretty. Very cool. All right. Okay. Okay. We're gonna wait. There's some earrings here. I really hope the mates turn up for. Look at this. Really, really hope that this is an earring. Look at that. Oh, it's missing some stones. That's a bummer. How do you get that in your ear, though? Gracious. It would have to go in like sideways and hang. It wouldn't hang. Maybe I. Maybe I'm telling that my cheeks are too chubby, and it needs to be for someone with a much more slender fist. And then, mm, mm, I wish I could do 30 minutes more, but I gotta go make dinner. I gotta make food for these hungry children. There. <laughs> I would go in like that. I don't know how that would work. It's too big. Okay, one more. Ready? Shield your eyes. You have been warned. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the bling. Oh, it's missing a stone or two. But look at the bling. Yes. Um, <laughs> so the, the, this, it's a brooch, but it's a cut, you know, this part's broken off, but it's also a pendant. So if the pieces could be restored, it would be a very lovely, lovely pendant. It's awesome. I wonder if the, maybe, there's only two stones missing. Perchance they at the bottom. We shall find out before long. Oh gosh. How bad do my kids need pancakes? When did I feed them last? Uh, okay, let's look at this one too. It's another brooch. This is a fun one. Look it. Is that wood inlaid in there? I don't think that's wood. That's like that coconut stuff, isn't it? And then there's like a mother of pearl. Yeah. <laughs> that rhymes so much. I gotta start hunting up rhinestone stuff. This is a fun one. I really like that. That mother of pearl in there. That's really, really pretty. Here's the back. Beautiful. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, anyway, I was thinking about a song, but I can't sing it. I, I would not do it justice. There's a song, if you ask your 
smart device, if you have a smart device, to play Shiny from the Moana soundtrack. Um, it's a good song. Anyway, Farm Hard. Oh gosh, isn't farming hard enough? You want me to farm harder? No. Okay, 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 okay. Just call it, Margaret. Just call it. I can't. It's a, it's a clip-on earring. Okay, okay, okay. Just going to call it. And I'm going to detangle this big mess. And then I'll, I'll come back. And it'll give me a chance to chat some more. Okay. Um, the crab, right? He's so awesome. He's so shiny. Yep. So, I <laughs> put the lime in the coconut, yeah. All right. Um, tell the kids to pop tater tots in the oven. <laughs> yeah. They would be fine with that. We have no tater tots. We don't. I've already promised them pancakes. So, oh, well. You've been snowed in for a month. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. It's only been like a week for us, and we're just going bananas. So, all right. Thank you for being here, everybody. Uh, if you're watching later, thanks for hanging out. And and if you want to catch us live, then us, me, everybody in the chat, then uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos. And I'll talk to you hopefully soon. Bye, everybody. Stay safe. Stay warm.